हेलो वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फोरेंसिक फोरम आवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज टाइम सिंस डेथ और पोस्टमार्टम इंटरवल व्हाट इज पोस्टमार्टम इंटरवल इट इज द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ टाइम बिटवीन द डेथ एंड रिकवरी ऑफ द बॉडी फ्रॉम द क्राइम सीन किसी भी पर्सन की डेथ का जो एक्चुअल टाइम है और जितने दिन बाद हमें उसकी बॉडी रिकवर होती है उसको टाइम सिंस डेथ कहते हैं and what is thanatology it is the study of the death including its causes and post mortem changes stages of death it is basically three types immediate changes early changes and late changes immediate changes also called somatic death early changes also called molecular death and late changes what is somatic death somatic death is a permanent irreversible death of an organism according to bicket's criteria permanent failure of the brain system circulatory system and respiratory system are called somatic death these changes occurs immediately after the death what is molecular death it is the death of all individual cells and biomolecules in the body it includes the changes in the skin and eye primary relaxation of the muscles algar mortis liber mortis and rigor mortis changes in the eye here we can see the dilated pupil after the death and in the second image we can see a black line on the sclera is called a tachin wear when the eyelid remains open for about 3 to 4 hours late changes includes putrefaction two modifications of the putrefaction are adipose air formation and mummification algar mortis algar is a latin word which means coolness and mortis which means death algar mortis is a cooling of the body after the death due to stoppage of the all metabolic reactions there are some factors affecting the algar mortis are environmental temperature humidity media of the disposal age and sex clothing and posture of the body after the death the production of the energy is stopped due to this falling of the temperature occurs the temperature of the body surface falls more rapidly as compared to the temperature of the inner core the average rate of the fall of the body temperature is 0.4 to 0.7 degree celsius per hour in this slide i have shown you chemical thermometer some common signs to record inner core temperature are rectum external auditory meters and nostrils rectum is the best part to measure the body temperature what is post mortem caloricity in this condition the temperature of dead body remains high for the initial 2 hours instead of cooling factors are cause of death due to tetanus septicemia strychnine poisoning and severe convulsions another factor is high environmental temperature in both the conditions post mortem caloricity may be seen next topic is medico legal importance of the algar mortis it is a sign of death it helps in the estimation of the time since death it delays the rigor mortis and decomposition stages liver mortis it is also called hypostasis lucidity cadaveric lividity and darkening of the death it is the settling of blood in the dependent part of the body we can see the settling of blood in the dependent part of the body in this image now what are the salient features of the hypostasis after the stopping of the circulatory system blood starts collecting in the toneless capillaries due to gravitational forces second point is the color of the post mortem lividity is bluish purple and it is more clearly visible in the fair skinned person in this image we can see post mortem lividity on the lateral back side of the dead body in this slide i have shown you different body positions in which post mortem staining may vary for example first condition is supine position in this image the hypostasis will be observed in the 
lower dependent part next position is prone position in this these are the highlighted areas in which the hypostasis will be observed and another condition is suspended vertically if the body is suspended vertically then hypostasis will be observed in the lower limbs lower hands and lower legs next condition is submerged in the water in this condition if body gets this kind of position then the hypostasis will be observed in the legs hands chest and frontal head another condition is when the body is continuously moving in the water then the distribution of the post mortem staining will be throughout the body the onset of the post mortem staining starts from 1 to 2 hours the post mortem staining usually develops within the 4 hours and fully developed within the 5 to 6 hours if the body is undisturbed the staining get fixed in the 8 to 12 hours and persists until the putrefaction medical legal importance of the liver mortis is sign of the death it helps in the estimation of time since death it indicates the posture of the body at the time of death on the basis of developed color cause of death may be predicted crime scene alteration next post mortem change is rigor mortis rigor is a latin word which means stiffness and the mortis which means death so it is a stiffness of the death definition it is the stiffness of the muscles of the dead body it consists of three phases primary relaxation rigor mortis secondary relaxation rigor mortis appears in the entire body in the 12 hours persist for another 12 hours and then disappear in the next 12 hours this is called rule of 12 according to the nistine's law it first appear in the muscle of the eyelid that is orbicularis oculi within 3 to 5 hours then jaw then facial muscles after this neck and then thorax then upper limb then abdomen and then lower limb from 9 to 11 hours after the death medical legal importance of the rigor mortis are it is the sign of death it helps in the estimation of time since death it indicates the posture of the body at the time of death there are some conditions that may mimic the rigor mortis that are cadaveric spasm heat stiffening cold stiffening and gas stiffening any kind of stiffening in the body may mimic to the rigor mortis decomposition or putrefaction it is two types autolysis and putrefaction what is decomposition it is the process by which complex organic biomolecules break down into simpler inorganic compound autolysis auto auto means self lysis means breakdown in this process where the body's own enzyme are acting on itself and causing cellular destruction then what is putrefaction in this Uh, it is caused by many bacteria and microorganism basically staphylococcus clostridium proteus and streptococci etc now what are the features it begins immediately after the death at the cellular level usually visible after the rigor mortis third point is very important greenish discoloration at the right iliac fossa is the earliest sign of the putrefaction marbling of the skin the blood vessels of the body provide an important route for the bacteria so that putrefaction spread throughout the body different kind of gases are produced in the putrefaction are hydrogen sulfide carbon dioxide carbon monoxide ammonia mercaptans and methanes in both the images marbling of the skin are shown on the chest of the dead body causes of the putrefaction i have already discussed last stage of the putrefaction is skeletonization it is the last stage of putrefaction after this only skeletal remains are found modification of the putrefaction 
there are two modifications one is adipocere formation and another is mummification let's first discuss the adipocere formation it, adipocere formation is also called saponification it is the formation of white or gray grayish wax like grease like material similar to soap occurring in the fatty tissue of the dead body environmental condition required for the adipocere formation are hot and moist condition next modification is mummification in the mummification the skin becomes brittle contracted dried firm leather like shrunken brown to black in color conditions required for the mummification are hot and dry environment in this image adipocere and mummification both the modifications are shown in the same image this is the graph of all the post mortem changes after the death this is the zero hour timing immediately after the death the normal body temperature is 37 degrees celsius the temperature starts falling immediately after the death this graph the red dotted line is showing algar mortis the shape of the red line is inverted s shaped inverted s shaped or sigmoid this graph type is called sigmoid the black solid line is showing the rigor mortis this line and it start starting from 2 hours and fully onset at the 12 fully onset at the 12 to 30 hours this is the plateau phase and then passing away at near about 30 to 36 after the 30 to 36 hours the rigor mortis passed away the green dotted line is showing the lividity from 1 hour it starts near about at 1 hour and becomes consistent after the 6 hours after the 6 hours it is showing a consistent and remains till near about the 54 hours the purple dotted line this is the purple dotted line showing the putrefaction or decomposition from 18 hours and continuously increasing till the skeletonization this is the summary of all the slides i hope this video will helpful to you Thanks for watching.